Here is Sugar CRM's dashboard. When you first open the dashboard, you see Sugar CRM's dashlets. These views are called dashlets. They can display reports, activities, tasks, history, related modules, or any other information that you find important to display on your main dashboard. To add dashlets, you hit the drop down and hit edit. Here you can add as many rows of dashlets that you want. You can add three columns to one single row here, or you can add columns here. You can also break out this screen into three columns, two columns, or one column. Let's keep this in two columns. To add a dashlet, you hit the add a dashlet button. And here are all the available dashlets in Sugar 7. If you want to add a report, you hit the save reports chart dashlet. And then pick the report that you have saved in here. You can set it to auto refresh if you choose. Now that report is popped up in a dashlet down here. If you want to move it around, use the drag and drop interface to click and drag it where you want it. When you're done, you click save. If you want to add your own custom dashboard, you just hit create, type the dashboard name, and then add the dashlets that you want to see. To choose between dashboards, you hit the drop down in the top left, and you can see all of your saved dashboards here. And then switch between dashboards by clicking. Here's the marketing and sales dashboard. And here's the default dashboard. Sugar also has what's called activity streams. Here are all activities related to our user, Jen Smith. You can filter her activities for activities that she was involved in, for records that she updated, or you can see all records that she linked, and so forth. Or you can see all activities. Sugar's activity dashlets also allows you to mention users and reference certain records in the system that you want to highlight or make special notes about. You can also drop and attach documents. Let's say that you have a file. You can drag and drop it directly into here and then reference a user to draw their attention to this document. Select the user, and then you can type a message. Then submit. Now this document will be referenced to Jim Brennan, and Jim Brennan will see that this document has been referenced to him in his activity stream. Activity streams are a great way to communicate and collaborate with other users in the system.